undo it. You want to just travel the galaxy and look for new things and explore new worlds and creatures? Go and do it. You want to create pets? Go and do it. Basically. You want to become a collector of starships and ships in general? Go and do it. Yep, if you want, you can scan all the animals in the solar system. Go and do it. Literally. Yep. So it's like Subnautica. It, I think Subnautica is a bit linear, right? The reason I say it's a bit linear, it will force you in some scenarios in Subnautica to go to a certain place, to a certain mission in a set time limit, right? But this is a full space exploration game with zero visual loading screens. So if I want to leave this planet and go to this space, there's no loading screen like Starfield. Just saying now. <laughs> you know? The whole, the whole galaxy is one big place. It is extremely rare for you to bump into someone else in multiplayer unless you go to the anomaly <coughs> you can play multiplayer you can play single player exactly base building yeah how does multiplayer work with random system generations uh, and instancing with multiplayer you can invite your friends to join your uh, system you can get them to build their bases on the same planet as you uh, you can allow your friends to build within your same build area so the way it works is when you place a base building down it gives you a uh, vicinity, which is quite quite large, uh, for you to build in, and nobody else can build in it. Okay, so it gives you your own private area, but then you can go into your network settings, into options, and you can allow other people to build in your base area. So if you wanted to make a small community place, you can do that. You also get mechs. You also get vehicles. Like I said, you get freight ships. Uh, you can get uh, frigates and send them out on expeditions to get your stuff. You can put miners down on one planet with a teleporter next to it. So if you're sick of grabbing copper from one planet or grabbing it every now and again, you can go to teleport to this planet and you can go and grab it for you because it's already being mined for you. Did you build a base for the expedition? No, I've not built a base for the expedition, no. Can I start from zero with a friend, like totally mobile? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be able to see where he is all the time. Um, the only problem with multiplayer, okay, is when it comes to freight ships. I don't know if this has changed in the last two years or not, but only one player in your party can have its freight ship in the, in the system. I don't know if that's changed. So, maybe someone can answer that. So, if you wanted to access your freighter and then your friend wants to access their freighter, it can't be in the same system. There is a few limitations to multiplayer, um, but there is workarounds and a lot of things. Um, okay, we're after this bloody uh, dino uh, it was thingy, right? Yeah, with this whole expedition, I'm, all I'm really doing is just aiming for the exclusive rewards, and then I can take that back over to my survival save. You're welcome, Vibrant. You're welcome, man. Expeditions are something separate, yes. So there's a new way of doing expeditions now, but the old way of doing it is like you go to the main menu, you start a brand new game, you click on the expedition, which is, which is normally blanked out unless it's something you've... Uh, or when it becomes available, which it has done now. And then you get given a pre-made character, which is what my guy is. And then you get given rewards every time you do an expedition phase or all that kind of stuff like little milestones. And there's five phases, as you can tell here, right? So you have phase one and you start working towards these... 
Then you go to phase two, you start working towards these, and so on and so forth. You go to your final phase, and then you get your, your uh, exclusive rewards. Then you can take them, you can go onto your survival save and go and redeem them from the anomaly. There's another planet in this system that uh, has an apex predator in this one, Pinocchio. Um, Bill and I are playing this game years ago. Confusion. Um, so yeah, the years years ago it was more confusing, shouldn't I? Now it's more streamlined. Uh, where's my ship? Apex Predator looks like a mantis. Oh, I'll have a look now. So someone else has already found it. Let me, uh... Where is it? Do you remember what it was called? I can go the distance. I bet you it's one of these I've not scanned yet. Uh, I've done it. Okay, okay, cool. I like mini game side quests that you play that gives you rewards that you can take back to your main game. Yep. Yep. Holy moly guacamole. Look at this bad boy. I don't think we can land on it, right? I'm pretty sure we can't. It's cool, though. <laughs> but what is it that took it out? Yeah. The thing is as well, by the way, you can own these. For those that don't know. You can uh, own freighters like this. And you can build your base with inside it. So you can have a mobile base. And not just on a planet. Chat, can I get in this? Can I look around in this? I've never seen one of these before. Is there a landing pad I can land somewhere on it? An active landing pad? Shoot the cargo pod.
Where the hell's the cargo pod? On the underside. Got it. Oh shit. Cool looking ship though, right? Quite a bit of gold from these. Oh, Jeez. How do I leave the galaxy? Do I have to build a base first? Um, you need a hi uh, hyperdrive. <laughs> Did he just squish it? A chicken. Gotta love the bit rate right now, chip. Hi there. Friendly. Friendly. Oh God, do I not have any tritium? Uh, supposed to be laying a patio. Mm. I 
I forgot I installed my cells. I'm gonna be honest with you. Can you give me like a full on asteroid feel? That'd be so nice right now. Oh, hello. The pilot repairs for trading systems, yes. Yes. Get knip. See, that's the thing. With this game, you could easily get sucked into many, many hours. When you start figuring out things, like your inventory system, uh, unlocking like new buildables and uh, like new items you can make in here, new recipes, and then you start going... When you start figuring out that your other jetpacks, if you put them next to each other, you can actually get them boosted. So you can see how my jetpacks have got... Um, the yellow color around them if i was to move this next to it you see this one doesn't but if i put it next to the other ones it gets boosted you know so putting stuff next to each other and it's kind of makes the game a bloody tetris when you're trying to bloody build stuff and so it's like your uh your stuff you need Okay, he's done. You completed it. I don't want to trade. I'm good. <laughs> Hello? We're looking for an apex. I can take back to the normal world. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking mine back to the survival world. If I can. Uh, you're in Apex or through Apex? <laughs> Did you figure out whether the uh, thing has been seen? Uh, no, I'm gonna... We're just gonna check right now. And scan some animals.
lot of flying ones in here. My phone keep going off. Oh boy. Let it go. An ugly little planet. <laughs> Someone's named that. I think it's the ugly little planet. You think it's the small one? It's the moon that's next to me. It's the only one that seems to be more active with users. So more than likely it is. By the way, for anyone that's new, X is your best friend in recharging anything. It always gives you the the always gives you like the most recent one. So if I click on recharge equipment, it'll always give you the one that needs recharging first. If you have the fuel for it. And it's like that for uh your weapons as well. The X thing helps a lot, yeah. Alright, let's go and check out the little planet then. We'll see if that apex is on there. It's gonna be the moon. Is it on the opposite side? I bet you it's on the opposite side of this bloody planet I'm on. The Q dash. Oh yeah, the the Q dash is a lifesaver. Oh sugar. Oh yeah, disturbed is insane. There it is. Ugly little planet. I tell you what, the good thing about this game is like because you can just do whatever. It's just a game about discovery. Right? It's just about you and your little character. Your little spaceman. You're a traveler who wakes up not knowing what the hell has happened and discovering who he is, the planets, everything. Oh, we've already been on this planet. This was crazy. But we was landing during a crazy frozen storm. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Yeah. 
Hey, we got it. Okay, so if anybody wants to know where the Apex Predator is, it's literally in this system on the snow one, and it's this big thing here. It's this. Another old creature thing. Looks sexy, looks fucking weird. Look weird. And I'll get your uh, your apex stuff at least. Uh then survival playthrough of this video. Uh we will end up finding a planet. Uh, what I want to find is I want to find a nice paradise planet with bioluminescence. And hopefully the floating rocks. I don't know, I've not seen but I know a couple of creative friends of mine are trying to find this kind of the same planet. Uh, and uh, they've not found it yet. Because they want the new world's floating rocks with bioluminescence. Uh, and all that stuff, so. Hey, Louise. How are you doing? New reward. That's who I am. Day is the day. All right, what's next? Um, steel whispering eggs. Okay. Whispering eggs often found laid on airless planets or around abandoned buildings. Disturbing the eggs will summon the monstrous brood. Locate whispering eggs using the uh, analysis advisor. Okay. See the combat section of the guide for further details. All right, we need to get 13 of them. So we already have three of them. Uh, is it just a, your standard? Can anyone see the three eggs here? Apparently I've already got three, unless I've already sold them and it's just classing it, is it? Uh, so fine, not happy. Okay, yeah. The glowing white balls on the ground. You can collect some kissigas. Yeah, they they sell pretty a lot. Grab them. Touch them. Do it. Grab the glowing white balls, kissigas. Now, this is a bit weird how, how... No, not in that kind of way, but like... <laughs> grab... The grab balls. Go and sell them. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, so have I got any planetary charts available? I do. Anything nearby? Abandoned building detected. Beautiful. Just talking about grabbing a ball. Uh, well, that's not me, Illuminat. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know who Blitz is. But if they're grabbing balls, they can grab balls. <laughs> yeah, Cor Cor Corey. Allow her to grab the Gravitino balls. The thing about this game, you have to touch things to learn things. Oh, God damn it.
By the way, guys, is anybody going to be picking up Star Wars Outlaws? I'm just saying this now because remember, if you are purchasing it on the Ubisoft store, make sure you use my uh, code at checkout. Remember that. If you are going to be getting it. I can show you four hours of gameplay. I have seen a lot of gameplay circulating right now. That people are talking about. And I can tell you for a fact, 80% of what was seen was not the best. They shouldn't have marketed that. But what I played, I played four hours. Uh, and I'll be able to show you it. Uh, on the 30th. And I'll be able to show you it. Um, because a lot of people are saying, oh, the visuals have downgraded. It hasn't. I was playing at 1080p and it's the same visuals that was in the thing as well. Bloody hell. There we go. Woo. Did I just land in the building? I guess so. Wait, I'm glitched. I'm actually glitched inside the building. Let me take off. No! I want the eggs! Is it these eggs? I'm needing them.
need to try and get some uh, carbon if possible. Uh, but we just completed a tier 5 reward. Pre-packaged neutron cannon unit. Yeah, over the last 50 years. Uh, I, know, I know it's a fantastic game. Right. <laughs> um, We are Vikings. We are, we are Vikings. Okay. How are you doing? Alright, Immortal Broccoli. Appreciate it, man. Uh, to do now, I mean, I have the expedition done and all I can do is help out in the community, community thing. Uh, for the... Um, the, uh, b -b 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 the side quest stuff. The optional stuff. New building part, learn nutrient processor. Whispering omelette. 
to make some omelettes, chat. So the uh, extra right car, right? Yeah, good. I've got quite a bit of money as well. Oh, yeah, the mech platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sugar. Nearly enough. Uh, where, is, where did I put it? Where did he go? Uh, current objective, uh, harvest 900 resources. Harvest a significant amount of resources in one continuous sweep uh, of the mining beam. Continuous operation will require heat management to prevent multi-tool overheating. Okie dokie. I want to get off this planet and go to maybe something that I can, that I can visibly see. Am I low on fuel? I am. And go mine on a planet that's not as crazy with the, uh, the winds. Uh, magnetized for activated copper, phosphorus. So we need 900 uh, stuff being mined altogether, right? Dog mix. Actually, uh, while we're here, let's go to the space station straight away. Let's go and sell and redo stuff. Thanks. All right, let's switch the music up as well. Hey, what up, Sponge Hammer? Uh, what music do you fancy, chat? Did you just say polka? Oh my god. Well, polka's definitely fun. Uh, where are you up to? I'm just finishing phase four. Um, about to do the last mission. Um, well, no, I'm doing phase three, part four. I'm just grabbing the um, 
mining the uh, ores. I need 900 of them. So the music from Space Invaders on when you fight pirate ships. <laughs> just, just random space. That could be kind of funny. Yeah, it has got a Oh, I should have spoon. I got a whispering omelet. To make nights. Yeah, no, but I'm 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 on the thingy right now. The expedition. I'm not too worried about the nanites over here. Some heavy metal on. To kill some uh some walkers. Yeah. Uh how long does it take to do the expedition content? It's entirely up to you. How kind of like fast you want to go through it, you know? Have I been to this um this one yet? This station, I have. Hands up in the ceiling. Oh, I have a cookie. I forgot. I have a cookie. Do goodbye to everybody. Anybody want to share my cookie with me? Cookie, you got grapes. Grapes. The thing about right is when I eat grapes, I eat too many. I eat too many grapes. Dusty your identity. <laughs> Is the music is the music too well is the audio balanced okay guys can you like hear the game and obviously i know i, I know i'm uh okay but like is the game too loud or that stuff everything okay the game ain't loud at all it's really loud for me really loud for me. Jesus, dude. Mm. 
Is that better? You got some more game sounds now? I've turned it down for me as also. Advertise Amsu? Yeah. You can customize it and everything. Like, the only reason it's following me right now is because um, I've got something in it called Minotaur AI Pilot. Otherwise, it would have stunned there. This 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 means it will follow me now. It will follow me and shoot things that attack me. But he's also a good, like, you can see my shield going down, right? He's also good just to get into and just replenish my shield. So I'd have to keep using Sodium. Music was fine. Game is a little loud. Okay. How is that? Dude. A lot of silver that were just uh, gone. The only thing I got was like 12. That's why you mine it yourself. <laughs> you would have hey, stood there staring at me. Thank you. It's Dime. Bits Dancy. It's Bits Dancy. It's Bits Dancy. My man. How you doing, brother? Dude. 
doing well? You just woke up? Hell yeah, man. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's, it's only 11.40 right now, isn't it? Repair the dead body. That way you get some of that extra. <laughs> Just repair the whole thing. Mission's going all right. Um, we have... Uh, 95 out of 900. Playing the new update? Yeah. We've been playing the new update for a week now. Since release. Hey, what up, Nif? How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Hey, bits. Hello, hello. So it's still the same then. So this hasn't changed. So when you're mining the uh, ores, turning it to the smallest one, you're still gonna, you're still gonna get more. You still get more if you turn it to the smallest um, size when you're extracting. If you turn it to the biggest one, you don't get as much. It's still the same then. Oh, Mike yes. Mave. The big 40 months have arrived. 